Good morning, my peeps. Good morning, and I love you. Here's Chewy to say good morning, and my overgrown yard. <laughs> the grass isn't that tall, but the weeds are. But it's kind of pretty in its own way. I'm sure the neighbors don't think so, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it either today or tomorrow. And uh, just been out here today. It's relatively pretty, getting, getting warmer by the minute, but enjoying it while the sun is not around. Have my little plants here, you know, beans and tomatoes and peppers and things like that. I've got to get all those transplanted. I'm letting Chewy have his morning constitutional. Oh, you guys have been on my mind so much and honestly, I just haven't, I just haven't really wanted to do a video. I've just been kind of in my own head, in my own world. Not in a bad way, but, you know, well, you guys know, you live in the same world I do. Everything's a mess. Oh, look at to the east, Lord. Come quickly. You know, and I, I know my last few videos have come across, I mean, I'll use the word preachy, just because, you know, for people who uh, don't have a relationship with Christ yet, you know, it's, that's what they hear. It's, oh, here she goes, she's preaching again. But it's because I love them so much, guys, and, you know, there's so many bad teachers out there that say things like, oh, you know, God's this judging God, and he's going to strike you with lightning if you step out of line, and then you have the polar opposite, which is God loves you no matter what, and and it's true. He does love you no matter what. That's That's the whole reason he sent his son to die. He loved you in the midst of your sin, you know, but it, it doesn't mean that you know, you don't have to do anything. Like, you're just a good person and you're going to heaven. It, that's the biggest lie straight from the pit of hell. Because the bottom line is, you know, you have to be born again. And, uh, you know, brings to mind a lot of uh, <laughs> preachers. There's a dump truck and Chewy is not pleased about it. They got to take out the garbage. But the bottom line is, you know, without Christ, you're not getting into heaven. And the days we're living in, folks, come on. The word unprecedented doesn't even cover it. <laughs> so please, please, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm pleading with you. It, it, you know, you don't believe in Jesus. Why not? Just ask yourself that question. Why not? Are you mad at God? Are you blaming God for things that maybe aren't necessarily his fault if you're going to be honest with yourself? Is it because, you know, you've had, you know, people put a bad taste in your mouth. You've had people that say they were Christian and they treated you terribly. You know, guys, put all that stuff aside. It, it, I mean, playtime's over. The one world order is coming. The global currency is coming. You, can, you could just take a sneak peek in the Bible. And, I mean, it is jarring how much of it's coming true. I mean, it's, I'm telling you, it takes more faith not to believe the Bible these days than to believe it. And I say this because I love you desperately. And I want to spend eternity with y'all. I don't... Like, I, in my last video, I was so upset <laughs> just thinking about some of you that I know don't have a relationship with Christ. And to think that we'd be separated forever. I, I just, I can't even go there mentally because it breaks me. So please, it doesn't have to be a formal thing. It doesn't have to be a, a you know, oh, holy, oh, kind of thing. Just close your eyes and be like, Lord, I don't know if you're there or not. Let me know if you're there. And if you are there, Lord, just forgive me, you know. Forgive me of my sins. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you're Lord. I believe you died on the cross and that you rose again. And that you're coming again. And I can't wait for the rapture. I can't wait to get out of this place. To go home. Your real home. Every human heart has a longing for it. Why do you think people over and over throughout history have tried to find this utopia? Because every human heart is longing for heaven. We're pre-programmed to want heaven. And I want you there with me. So badly. 
sorry. That was just on my heart and I just thought I'd take a minute this morning before I log into work and, and just share that with you. Just kind of <laughs> vomit it all out. You know, everything I've been feeling for months about y'all and for one reason or another just didn't feel like I should say it or but guys I can't hold my tongue anymore I love you guys desperately there's no sirens and for those of you that say oh well when the rapture happens I'll believe then hear that siren you don't know if you have tomorrow to believe, let alone wait around for the rapture. Although I do think it's very close. I just, I just want you guys to go with me. Prepare. You know, you should all have a food and water stockpile by now. You know, if not, get started today. Put something aside. Shortages are going to be really bad at the end of the year. Inflation is just going to keep going. And, uh, you know, like they keep saying, the four horsemen are getting ready to ride. I mean, <laughs> I've heard that my whole life as a child of the 80s, you know, the four horsemen and everything. But uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's here, guys. So <sighs> I love you so much. And I hope that for those of you that have heard this message or at least stayed in, <laughs> tuned in this long, that you know where my heart's at, that it really is coming from a place of just affection and desperation. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say I'm desperate. Desperate. I love you guys so much. And um, I'll try to maybe do a live this weekend. Glenn's got some gigs, so I should have some downtime. <sighs> All right. Got to get to work. Have an awesome day, you guys. I love you tons and tons. Talk to you later.